Zen master is a somewhat vague English term that arose in the first half of the 20th century, sometimes used to refer to an individual who teaches Zen Buddhist meditation and practices, usually implying a long-time study and subsequent authorization to teach and transmit the tradition themselves. China Until the Tang Dynasty, the term Chan Shi Chan Shi Dhyana Master was regularly used for a monk who was a master of Chan, or meditation, versus those who specialized in Dharma scriptural teachings and Vinaya discipline and moral precepts. This included several important figures who were later not considered to be part of the Chan school, per se, such as Tiantai Master Ziyi. In contemporary China, the term Chan Chan being simply one of many terms for forms of meditation, is not limited to the Chan school alone. Neither the majority of monastics nor lay people are formally tied to a given school of Buddhist practice, which is different from the situation in Japan. It is only those senior and experienced practitioners who receive such transmission into the Chan school. Most temples belong to the Chan school in name, but also embrace other teachings including those of Tiantai, Pure Land, Huayan, and Yogacara schools, often under the umbrella term, Chinese Buddhism. This has been the norm for the past 1,000 years, since the Song dynasty. While there are no official organizations to regulate the use of honorary titles, Chan Shi is used as a title of respect for an adept, typically a monk, who specializes in Chan. Chan Zong Dashi, Chan Zong Dashi, Great Master of the Chan School, is a similar and more specific honorary term, though rather rare. The same is true for the simple title Dashi, Dashi, Great Master, which is rarely used to address a Dharma teacher and any master of a specific craft or trade. The term is often bestowed posthumously by followers and students, although there are some exceptions, e.g., Sing Yun. The more common term when addressing a Buddhist master is Shifu. Shifu master, which is also used for any monk or nun as a matter of respect. Strictly speaking, this term, which includes the relational term for father, fu refers more to one's own teacher or preceptor. The term fashi, fashi dharma teacher, is more generic, and is used both by lay Buddhists and also by Buddhist monastics themselves. The general term lao shi. Lao Shi teacher is also used to address a master as one's teacher, but this term is a general one, so much so that it is used for a teacher of any subject. <laughs> <laughs> Japan There is no standard official title for Zen master across the various Zen traditions in Japan. Various titles may be used. Shike is used for a select group of people, both in Rinzai and Soto, who are qualified to supervise the training of priests to be in the Sotos, the training halls. Roshi, old teacher, is traditionally an honorific title given to older monks and Zen teachers in Japan, though both sensei and roshi have come to denote official or semi-official ranks within some Zen schools in Japan, the United States and Europe. Sensei, simply teacher is often applied in addressing the zen teacher or master osho virtuous monk priest is used for trainees who have acquired a basic level of priesthood topic <inaudible> soto in soto zen the title dai osho is the highest priestly rank in a clear monastic hierarchy it is only surpassed by Zenji, which is only applied to Dogen and Kaizan, the founders of the school, and to the current or former abbots of the two head temples of the sect. To supervise training monks, further qualifications are required. The relatively low status of Dharma transmission means that in and of itself it does not qualify one to accept students or to train disciples. According to the regulations, Zen students should be supervised only by a teacher who has attained supervisory certification i.e. Sanzen Dojo Shike status, that is, someone who in the popular literature might be called a Zen master. 
To attain supervisory certification requires not just high ecclesiastical grades and dharma seniority but also at least three years experience as an assistant supervisor at a specially designated training hall during which time one undergoes an apprenticeship. Rinzai <inaudible> <inaudible> In Rinzai too, further training is needed to be qualified as a supervisor. The common transmission does not include Inka Shomei. Ideally Inka Shomei is, "...the formal recognition of Zen's deepest realization", but practically it is being used for the transmission of the "...true lineage", of the masters of the training halls. Training halls are temples which are authorized for further training after being qualified as a temple priest. According to Roshi Soken Sushimoto, the title of Roshi is equivalent to Zen Master and Shaik. Roshi is the title compatible with the most formal title Shaik who got officially authorized as a Dharma successor by authentic master. There are only about 50 to 80 of such Inka Shomei bearers in Japan. In Rinzai Zen, it is relatively easy to say who is a Roshi and who is not. Anyone who is authorized by another Roshi i.e. his teacher is a Roshi. This authorization officially the Inka Shomei document is documented on a piece of paper, that is why it is also called colloquially Ichi Mai, that is, one sheet of paper. The transmission is totally vertical from teacher to student, no peer control is involved. That means that the Rinzai sect has no means to control who is made a Roshi and who is not. In spite of that, the number of Rinzai Roshis is relatively low, maybe around 50 or so. According to Roshi Soken Sushimoto, Authorization as a Roshi should be done in the most formal and explicit way. In Rinzai tradition a master gives a calligraphy of Inca certificate to disciple as a proof of authorization. Needless to say authorization must be backed up by the fact that the disciple spent many years in Zen training under the master earnestly and continuously. The shaikh is not married. The shaikh H as the prestige and generally owns the respect of being a true Zen master, a living symbol of the Zen monastic tradition, the quintessence of Zen virtues ideally incarnating wisdom, spirituality, strict discipline, individuality, and yet gentle social personality. The Shaikh is also the head of the sect subschool of the Rinzai school, with its own head temple. They appoint and dismiss the priests, and appoint the titles in the ranking system. Yet. The position as abbot at Mayashinji is based on election, each elected period lasting four years. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Women. Mugai Niodai (1223–1298 CE) of Japan was the first female Zen master in the world. Korea Sunam is the Korean title for a Buddhist monk or Buddhist nun of any tradition, and does not denote any specific rank or qualification. It is considered respectful to refer to senior monks or nuns in Korea as Kun Sunam, and this polite way of expressing the title can also denote some sort of realization on the part of the individual being addressed. In most Korean temples, a middle-aged monk assumes the role of a Juji Sunam, who serves administrative functions. The eldest Sunam is typically seen as a symbolic leader of the younger Sunams. In Korean Soan, Inka inga typically refers to the private acknowledgement of Dharma transmission from a teacher to their student. Transmission is used to refer to the public ceremonial version of the same acknowledgement. Both are considered equal in authority and realization. A monk with either inga or the public transmission is qualified to hold the post of Soan Sa, or Zen master, for a temple, and give transmission to their own students either, inga or public, transmission. The majority of Zen masters in Korea have only received, and only give inga, with the formal transmission ceremony being far more rare. In the Kwan Um School of Zen, founded by Korean Zen teacher Sung San in America and Europe, a Zen master can be referred to as a Soan Sa Nim, Soan, or Sun, being Korean for Chan, or Zen. Sung San himself is usually referred to as Dei Soan Sa Nim. The honorific Dei means great. Kwan Um School of Zen is unique in the fact that it clearly distinguishes two levels of Zen teachers. Lower 
Level is referred to as Ji Du Pope Sa Nim, or Dharma Master. Ji Du Pope Sa Nim is a person who has received only Inca, which in Quan Um school of Zen is given during public ceremony as well. He, she is allowed to teach, but only within the school. If a Dharma master decides to leave the school, his, her title and teaching authority is considered void. A Ji Du Pope Sa Nim also cannot give Inca to other individuals. When a Ji Du Pope Sa Nim has his or her realization, confirmed by several typically three Zen masters from outside the school, he, she becomes eligible for full transmission and the title of Zen master so -in -sa -nim, which is given during another public ceremony. A Soin Sa Nim can give both Inca and transmission to other individuals and keeps his, her title and teaching authority if he, she decides to leave the school. <laughs> Western culture Zen master has been used to refer to individuals hailing from any number of countries and traditions. It is not an exact translation of any title from the countries from which Zen traditions emanate, where titles vary widely, even in different traditions from the same country. Its usage has diminished among contemporary American Zen teachers and practitioners. The term has entered popular culture and has been used to refer to any number of public figures in sports and entertainment, denoting a person who demonstrates detachment and control in stressful situations. It was sometimes adopted by figures in the spiritual counterculture of the 1970s and 1980s who had little or no actual Zen training. Zen Master Rama Osho Presumably to generate positive associations or legitimacy. See also Jisha Jikajitsu Sensei Osho Zen ranks and hierarchy Phil Jackson Chins <laughs>